Good morning. Check out that sunrise right there. This is the third, I guess this is the second like hardcore day of fishing that we're doing on the tear. And we're at a new lake today. This has been two lakes we've never even been to. So hopefully you guys, we're learning something together. I'm walking down to the boat ramp to check the water clarity. One thing that we're really doing here is following the moon phase and studying that. I was really looking at that last night. We're a few days away from a new moon. And I'm really interested to see what a new moon does versus a full moon in terms of spawning. I know fish do spawn around the new moon, but I don't know how to intense it is we're gonna study that the main goal is to see are the fish moving up a few days before right on after what is what is it really you know typically on a full moon the males will move up before and in terms of sight fishing like the best fishing is you'll see males push up right before the full moon and then uh, on it and then a few days after you got the big females on there not for very long but they're there so that's what we're studying this water looks clear by the way I already see some bluegill down there, a lot of hay grass, maybe some hydrillo. That's really what we're looking for, the grasses. Let's go get them. Another day on the tear. This windbreaker over the top, that's the mix right there? That's the mix. We're just now getting out on the water. We got our buddy Matt with us today. Go on the tear. Here on the tear, he's joining us. Definitely a lot of trees out here. I think we shut down at a good time. Running on a lake you've never been to, kind of sketchy but I followed a local that looked like he knew where he was going. 59 degree water right now, 59.2, it's going up. It's gonna get a little bit warmer. It's still in the 30s right now. You're gonna have to go like wacky rig, weightless baits, fish really, really, really slow, or you just look for them like we've been doing. Peeping at them. The braids well, in your truck, isn't it? Peep, peep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely in my truck. All right. We have grass. This is what grass looks like on the electronics. There's actually fish sitting in there. Starting out on kind of a uh, creek channel swing point. Never know if they're gonna bite on the grass line or lock down like everywhere else we've seen. Trainer right, trainer right. I love you. See it? Yep, there he is. He's I wanna up. say there was another one though. This is literally how it's been the whole time, Matt. Where, like, we'll just freaking fish for not get a freaking bite and then we'll just start looking and we'll find them but we're just I, trying to find these pockets i don't know Are if this fish one? that looks like a skittish one that's very that's not a that's not a that's not going to be yeah i don't know if we want to do that one that's not going to happen yeah that's a clear there they are there's, Look, there's, there's two right, right there there's one right there oh that's the, Woo! this is tree limb deluxe time right now this is always an exciting time your first bed fish of the year was that a good cast there? I mean, he's, he's in the ballpark. He's, this is uh, way different than what we've been doing. Just like very close pitches. This might be a difficult day, I'm gonna tell you. An interesting video day to see it. This water's really clear that we found right now. And these fish are like way back in the trees. Always fun to take people fishing, you know, and get them on there, get them on the fish. Especially when you can see them, it's loads of fun. That's what got me into bass fishing, by the way. Oh, not bad. It's not bad right there. Fish is gone. That fish is gone. Does happen. <laughs> oh well. Good thing about this, stay on the troll motor. On to the next one. There's another one. It's a two. Right here. They're in here, they're getting ready. I feel like we're kinda This is clearly a place they want to be. There's a frog. There's already a frog out. This honestly reminds me of the first time I ever went to Fork House Grass. I'm getting excited. It, like, it looked just like this. We're like on top of the grass. This swim bait, phenomenal. Matt, do you have a swim bait on? Matt's hooked up. Keep, keep him up. But I'm talking about you came off shallow, right? Yeah, I mean it hit it. Okay, well. Keep him coming. Oh God, this fish is probably gone now. Oh my God. That is a decent fish right there. There you go, Matt. That is actually a nice fish. He has got that thing swallowed, put the cox juice on it. He wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh rod tipper. <laughs> well, I was afraid about breaking. Oh, you were about to break it. That was about to be a. <laughs> God. Sorry, buddy. He's freaking. He just sword beat the forehead with his rod. And... <laughs> look, look, look at, at the that. fatness. Thick. Shallow. shallow. And she swallowed it? Dude, yeah. That is one of the first fish, good fish, that we've been like, hey, there's cruisers here. Cast it out and actually hooked up. Yeah. Oh, 
God, that's a good freaking sign, I tell you what. I hit it hard. See, like, look at this bed out here. There's probably some mega bass on these. You see another one out there, just barely. Can't. Oh, got a bite. Got him. Oh, yes, baby. Get in here. Okay, Matt catches like a four. I catch a one, maybe. Boop, boop, boop. Getting ready for the spawn. I've actually experienced two bites that haven't been on beds. It's kind of been new and something great. Out a little bit deeper here in this area, which I am keeping my eyes locked, three to four feet of water, and I am seeing deep beds. We're gonna keep fan casting the uh, weightless baits and the swim baits out here and keep our eyes locked for a Mondo on the bottom. This is, this looks like oh, Florida. The There's one. Fish yeah, it's a bass. That's a big bed. Matt's hooked up and he is full blown in the pads right now. <laughs> I got nowhere to go right now. Not a, you mean your blind could be like all different directions right now. Oh yeah, there he is. I see him. He's right there. Tell him who's boss. Oh, <laughs> hey, you never know. It's like a Christmas surprise. Can you imagine if that was like a 12, what it would do to you in these pads? I'd dive in though. We're gonna head, head towards some original stuff that we marked. Marked a couple of ditches coming in that had, mm, so it looks like some good stagers. Typical like East Texas um, ditch fishing. There's three pockets back on this other end. This is now a quest to try to find some of that clear water again. Some of that juicy clear water. That's where I saw at least a five plus uh, fish swimming around. Matt caught one that was probably about four pounds. And we could just see fish swimming. They were getting ready to do it. They liked that clear water. And everywhere else we've been, it's kind of been like a milky, chocolatey type situation. So clear water, bass love it. Yeah, I'm coming up through it. Oh. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh no. I look decent. There we go. Texas rig, okay. Gotta remember, right out there. All right, there's one fish. This is one of the spots we marked this morning. That one came on a Texas rig. There's literally a ditch. Here's the bank. We saw a bedded fish over here and there's a ditch that kind of runs behind the boat and there's a bunch of trees in it. And uh, it's a good spot for some pre-spawn fish to sit in. I mean, I was in that tree for a while. Oh, there's one. Little one. He's right on the edge. Another one on the creek channel edge right there. Oh, fat, fat, fat. There we go. Got a couple bites on the old creature bait right here. Y'all, this is a good spot to throw either a jig or a Texas rig, or even that swim bait just kind of swimming through. You know, this is probably like 12 feet on the edge and it's like 15 feet down there maybe even 20 in the middle. That last one I had was like up on top of the creek channel on the edge, it wasn't actually in it like the one before. I just feel like this could be a hole where Megalodon hangs out before the push to the bank. I've got that rigged four aught offset or uh, four aught extra wide gap, three eighths ounce. Looking at this creek channel here, we're drop we just dropped. You can see there's some structure there, just a couple of fish in it literally in it rob's just made the perfect cast into the pile here got it yeah. okay just... cool just rolling into a little pocket here we've got sandy spots this is looking extraordinarily good this is what we want to see right here it's got yeah it's gotten a lot clearer oh gosh okay tell me that fish is locked right there yep is it locked This is the one. Make the mistake. He keeps just getting the claw. Charge it, charge it. 
Oh! He, Dude, I don't think he, he inhaled. I don't think he had the hook. Do you think he had the hook? No, he just no, inhaled. I don't think he had the hook. It wasn't all the way in. It wasn't a full inhalation, but Tested if that was an illegal drug, he, he definitely dabbled with it. That was a Bill Clinton. Oh. <laughs> you see him? Yeah. <laughs> Son of a gun. Oh. Oh, he's got it. He got it. <laughs> oh. Up over about 40 pounds of oh. First bed fish on the boat from this lake. Oh, the Look at work though. Final. First bed fish of the day. Good work there. That was fun. That was fun. This, we're getting into bed city here. There's a beer can down there. You can see beds all out in the middle here. <gasps> oh, shit, oh, golly. That was not the one I thought it was. Yeah, oh gosh, there's a good one right there, Rob. Yeah, I know. Can't see the other one. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this one back. I thought you were like four pounds. Turns out I was wrong. Okay, that is that is on it. Oh he's got it. Oh he breathed it. Yep. Oh hey. Got him. Got a nice log. There's two on that one, I think. There's a, there's a good one on this bed. Just deep, deep bed. You can barely see it chasing on it. Oh, you're, you're about to get him. Yeah. Say like, this is probably within 10 casts to get him. He's chasing your lure 100%. Just like a dog on a bone. He's back in the middle now. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't that big. That, that, that should, should have been a big one. Okay, there's a big one. It's on that bed. That's probably five or six. There's another one. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Holy. It is going back to that spot I originally saw it at. Right on the corner of the grass and the sand, right there in that little, makes a big circle, comes in, does, looks at it, and then fires out. It looked phenomenal. I don't know. I like, this water clarity down here is not upsetting me. Hey, found one of them things. Wow, that one actually, was, I could see it out of the water. just like to check my motor's ambitions every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's the update? Well, the update, well, he's just looking, you know. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's a first class backlash. First class backlash, and that's kind of how the day has been. I am just chunking, me and Matt are chunking the heck out of these type baits right here. These weightless baits, swim baits and stuff like that. This is typically the situation where you, you're getting them. Rob's up there working a bed fish right now and there's tons of cruisers. We've seen tons of cruisers in the water so they should oh, be, that's right. they should be getting it. But they're just not eating it. It's like the only resort is either bed fishing and the rest of the time you're just chunking a Cinco or a Fluke or a weightless bait and kind of wasting your time. Miracles, miracles. I just made my 147th cast with the weightless stick bait, finally retrieved it correctly to to get a 12 incher. So that is pretty much what you do when your partner is bed fishing. This is a great technique. I can't I can't. Normally, you catch a lot of fish doing this. Like this is the deal. So many moving around, and today I've only had like two. Switching up colors just to give them something else. <laughs> Little tip on your stick baits here. I've got a nail right here, and I'm going to pelly weight this into my stick bait. It's a little hyper stick here, just under the surface, and then putting it not like straight into the worm, but I'm just sliding it where it just has belly weight, literally. I push it all the way in. That weight is totally sealed up in there. Take our uh, four odd offset worm hook, and we just rig that up. Just like that, just like we normally would. Helps you cast in the wind a little bit and also just makes your bait sink better. Gives it a little better action, side to side. It's the right movement for your worm. Gotcha. Yeah, I just had to do it. 
One more bed fish. It's got the, it's got the dark lips. All right, dude. Thank you for the fight. We'll see you later, hopefully with a big female next time. After a long day on the tour, this is kind of what it looks like. Grocery bags full of various organic fruits and some almond butter there. There's Fast Magic waters, coffees. There's a bunch of jigs in the corner hanging out together. Yeah, boots are back here. People, just dudes. Dudes out on the tour. As you can tell by my red face, we've been sight fishing for a while. Didn't apply sunscreen today. I told you guys at the first episode, always apply sunscreen and sight fishing. You end up with a you end up with a tomato face. We've looked, we've caught some bedding bass, but we only saw two females. One was like semi-locked, but we saw two that were like five pounds, but just couldn't get them to go. Wasn't the right, just wasn't the right time. I think we're still days away. It's fun to watch, it's addicting doing the sight fishing, but when there's no big fish, you're just not gonna mess around with those little ones. Oh, there he is again. Got him. Oh, he's a Mondo. He is a Mondo. Oh man, you come out here on the creek channel, I tell you what. All them little males that are up there on the bank, let me give you a tip. You come out there to that first creek channel swing, that's where them big females hang out, like that one right there. Shh, shoot. Tip of the day, y'all. Make sure you write that one down with a good Sharpie. Don't want that one going nowhere. That's just a little fun at the end of the day. We're pretty much, <laughs> we've tried it all here, folks. Tried it all. Tell you what, those old men. Yeah, they got out quick. <laughs> well, these days happen. When you're fishing new lakes that you've never been to, sometimes it's gonna be good, sometimes it's not gonna be the best. But hey, at least we got to feel the tug of a largemouth bass today. I already told him. Watch infomercials of Banjo Vanilla till 30 morning. Is that what was on really? Probably. <laughs> the Banjo Minnow. We are back. <laughs> Been rolling this whole time. <laughs> um, day, I think this is day two and a half of the Tur Exploratory Tur. I say exploratory because this week is kind of a precursor of next couple of weeks um, that me, me and Rob are going to be doing. We're going to be bringing some other people down as well. We're trying to figure out where is the best place for these big females that are going to move up on the full moon uh, later at the end of the month. And we found some really good stuff today. We found some other stuff at the other lake. We're exploring this new moon. That's what I talked about at the beginning of the video. Right now we're just seeing males flood the banks in the afternoons. So I'm not sure about that, that new moon. If you got an idea, if you already know, let us know in the comments, but we're exploring this sucker together. Um, it's fun times, at least, on the tour, I gotta tell you. You wanna know why he sounds like that? It's because he had a jalapeno cup in his nose. Thank you, thank you, Rob, for bringing them up. Um, I'm a little stuffed up because when we were at dinner, um, absolutely got a jalapeno, just sucked up into my nose somehow in my nasal cavity. It's deep in there, I'm still trying to get it out, so. All right, that's it for this one, y'all. We'll catch you on the next one.